so many of us. The holiday season, it's about spending time with loved ones and celebrating traditions. And some of those traditions include incorporating decorations passed down between generations. I love this. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Wiki Show Bailey will be traveling throughout our region to show you how everyone here at home is celebrating the holidays. Her first stop is this weekend. It's in Berwyn. When you walk into a home, you need to it needs to, you need to be able to see the family and the yeah. person that lives there. Ruth McKinney and her husband Bob spent years renovating this historic home and property they call Hillside Farm just outside of Philadelphia. When we were initially doing the house, Bob asked me, what part of the house do you not like? And I said, this hall, it's dark and it's really narrow. So I went to the grocery store and I came back and he had cut a huge wall in the ceiling and he hung the light. As a young couple, Bob, an engineer, and Ruth, a former trial attorney, dreamed of owning a home one day on the main line. We met with a realtor and she asked what we could afford and we told her and she burst out laughing. She called us two weeks later and said, are you afraid of hard work? Necessity forced us to start to redo houses. Every 18 to 24 months, they were flipping a home and they lived through every renovation. So all the dishes would go in the bathtub. So whoever took a shower had to wash the dishes first. After 16 years of flipping and a growing family, Hillside Farm became home and hopefully their final stop. This house is 305 years old. William Penn deeded it. We are the fourth people on the deeds. When we moved here, there were trees growing into the third floor in different places. You couldn't see any other structures on the property. So it was, it was a major labor of love. So much it caught the attention of a popular home show on YouTube, Homeworthy. Welcome to Hillside Farm, come on in. My husband, on our 10th anniversary, we've got five kids, four girls and a boy, and he had this made uh, for, as a representation of our children. The episode featuring Ruth was watched more than one million times. That led to a second taping where she is sharing what she does best, entertaining friends and family. In four hours, I'm hosting a dinner party for 20. We have a lot to do. Come on in. This wife and mother of five may seem busy, but never too busy to create traditions, beginning with traditions that's been in Ruth's family for 30 years, passed down from her great aunt. And We make about 400 sweat cinnamon rolls, and we will freeze the dough and on Christmas Eve as a family we get in the car and we deliver all the Christmas cinnamon rolls so that that home can let them rise overnight and serve them Christmas morning. Followed by a family sleepover in the living room. Many of these family recipes and traditions are found in Ruth's self-published book, Hungry for Home, a publication she created during the holidays. It's not just about restoring homes, it's restoring family. Would you say your home is finished? I think it's always changing, but it is for the most part. Just when we thought we were done, Ruth wanted to show us one last space, the barn. Well, it's my happy place, and I think um, we've done some special things in it. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. <laughs> well, you guys, we are in Ruth's happy place. The barn where her oldest daughter got married here not too long ago, right, Ruth? A year and a month ago, a year and two months ago. She and sure did. How cool is this? Joining us this morning is also Bob, right? And Ruth calls him the secret sauce he behind is, everything. He is the secret sauce. He's the reason everything happened. So. so, Ruth, we're talking about traditions, and you've made that a priority with your family. Yeah. Why are traditions just that important? You know, I grew up moving so much, and my family was going through a lot health-wise and, and just in a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. So what held us together, I think, were those family traditions and memory-making. So I made it a priority. Actually, when we first got married, we had that conversation. Like, how can we create our family culture? What do we want it to look like? And what kind of memories do we want to make? And, Bob, I got to ask you, every time that Ruth has an idea, do you get nervous? <laughs> no, I just do it. A lot of times I fight back initially, but then she is persistent and I just say, okay, I guess I'll have to do it. Yeah. And I guess I'll wrap up with saying, um, what do you guys love the most about the holidays? The holidays is a focus on others. And I think so many of our memories are based around that. What can we do for others? So it's been really fun having our family a part of all of that. Okay.